Here is a model of what happens in a coral reef. Coral reefs are havens to biodiversity. The IBO states that biodiversity is a broad concept encompassing the total diversity of living systems, which includes diversity of species, habitat diversity, and the genetic diversity. Habitat refers to the range of different habitats in an ecosystem or biome. In a coral reef, there are three main different habitats. There are four reefs, reef crests, and back reefs. Species diversities in communities is a product of two variables, which is A, the number of species, and B, their relative proportions. In a coral reef, there are fishes, sponges, and many other species to the extent that there are too many to mention all of them. Genetic diversity refers to the range of genetic material pre present in a population of species. The more species diversity and the more habitat diversity, the more genetic diversity there would be. All of this square around biodiversity is natural capital, which is a term used for natural resources that can produce the natural income of goods and services. It is a natural income for us. It is said that some species contribute to human society as medicine, and that some are already being used for treatments, the treatments for diseases such as cancer and HIV. They also provide important barriers against storms, hurricanes, and typhoons. The coral reefs as a whole could serve as a place for ecotourism in which humans can earn income, yet make sure that tourism is happening on a sustainable basis. Productivity of a coral reef is affected by many factors, and it is very vulnerable to human activity. There are many human actions that can have negative impacts on coral reefs. Some examples are muroami, which is a fishing technique that uses an encircling net together with ponding devices. Bottom trawling, which is a fishing technique that uses a trawl to drag across the seafloor. There is cyanide fishing, which involves spraying sodium cyanide mixture into the desired fish's habitat in, or in order to stun the fish. And there's blast slash dynamite fishing, which is a practice of using explosives to stun or kill schools of fish for easy collection. And there are many more. All of these human Actions that do negative impacts on the environment damage both the productivity and the, and the biodiversity. These actions can create ocean acidification, which is a reduction in the pH of the ocean over an extended period of time, caused primarily by uptake of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Human action can also block light as human action can result in pollution and sedimentation. The blockage of light can lead to an insufficient amount of light for photosynthesis. Human action also results in global warming, which affects the temperature of the oceans. Coral reefs are very sensitive, and even the slightest change in temperature can alter it. Blockage of light, ocean acidification, global warming, and more all affect the productivity of coral reefs. In order to solve these problems that human activities make, one requires a lot of resources and people. These include geos, laws, NGOs, grassroots organizations, science and education, and the public people themselves. GOs should create laws to control human action. They should also supply funding to science and education, and also support non-governmental organizations and their activities. NGOs should obey the laws the GO set and should also act as watchdogs over the people. Grassroots organizations need to follow the laws and also need to gather the people to do separate, independent campaigns that happen at the grassroots level. Science and education needs to apply what they find to the laws. Science should research about the damaged environment, and the damaged environment will provide them with the data they can use to see the effects of preservation and or conservation efforts. Education about the damaged environment should happen, and the damaged environment should also be a form of the education for people. To do work cited, all my definitions are not mine and they belong to their respective owners. Thank you.